This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. As you probably know, a wiki is a website which consists of collaborations of people modifying content. The most popular of these sites is none other than Wikipedia. It was launched on January 15, 2001 by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger. The former once said, imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to the sum of all human knowledge. That's what we're doing. And they did a good job. You can find 301 languages on Wikipedia, but the English language version is easily the biggest. Right now, in English, you can find 5.7 million articles and 46 million pages, which have been edited 860 million times and looked at by 1,203 admins. It's not surprising then that there's some weird stuff you can find on Wikipedia. And that's what we'll look at today. In this episode of the Infographic Show, the 10 scariest Wikipedia articles. Number 10, Ultimate Fate of the Universe. We'll start with this merry page that deals with destruction, the destruction of everything. It tells us that some cosmologists believe the universe will just keep expanding forever. The concept of infinity is hard to get our heads around but so is the concept of absolute nothing. Nonetheless, there are theories regarding the end of the universe, and none of them sound very nice. We have something called the Big Rip. This is when dark energy gets stronger and gradually starts to pull everything apart. Galaxies move away from each other, space gets bigger, star systems get pulled apart, and you end up with a universe with nothing in it. Then you have the Big Crunch, which is space collapsing into a dimensionless singularity. In this scenario, the Big Bang happens and then it's followed by the Big Crunch and the cycle continues infinitely. Then you have the Big Bounce theory, which basically means that the Big Bang was the result of a previous universe collapsing and so this one will collapse so another can be born. In any case, it's likely that the universe won't disappear during your lifetime, so you don't have to worry. That said, some of the things you're about to hear you probably should be worried about. Number 9. Project MK Ultra. Americans might feel a pang of fear if they head to this page, which tells us about their government conducting very unethical mind experiments on their own people. In the 50s, 60s, and 70s, the CIA engaged in activities, often totally illegal, which used human guinea pigs to test if people's minds could be controlled. They gave some of these people LSD and other chemical concoctions, which was scary enough, but other times they just mentally and physically tortured people, isolated them, or tried to get into their heads using hypnosis. Sometimes these experiments happened in prisons, but they also took place in colleges, universities, and hospitals. It's quite unbelievable what they would try and make test subjects do, after say, a large dose of drugs or days of brainwashing tied to a chair. They try and make subjects age faster or slower, make them go out in public and disgrace themselves, cause them memory loss or brain damage, make them totally dependent on another person, mess up their eyesight and hearing, or even give them substances to physically disable them. This shocking page tells us consent protocols were not followed, and if subjects' heads weren't just messed up forever, sometimes they died. But as it was top secret, we may never know the full extent of the damage. Number 8. Lizzie Borden this case is unsolved, and so makes for some interesting reading, mainly because right after the murders, she burned the dress she'd been wearing that day. It was suspected she did that because it was covered in blood. Whoever hacked the bodies really put some effort into it, say the reports, but she was never found guilty of the crime, and it remained a mystery. The case of the Axe murders has become one of America's greatest unsolved crimes. If that's not scary enough, though, listen to this. Number 7. June and Jennifer Gibbons these were identical twins that were born in 1963 and grew up in Wales. They took their closeness to heart and decided that they would not communicate with anyone but themselves. That's why they became known as the Silent Twins. Their parents were from the Caribbean and so the twins spoke Bajan Creole, which was very hard to understand for anyone living in Wales. Also, they were the only black kids in town and this led to bullying. This is why the kids decided they wouldn't speak to anyone else. When they did speak, they spoke in a language only they could understand. Understand. There is actually a word for twins creating their very own language, and this is called cryptophagia. Crypto means secret and phasia means speech. Therapists would try and get them to speak to others, but they simply refused to do so. Then the therapists decided to put them in different boarding schools when the twins were 14, but after that, both of them fell catatonic. They were reunited and stayed most of the time in their bedroom together, making plays with dolls. 
They then both started writing novels about what Wikipedia tells us were people who exhibit strange and often criminal behavior. After that, they got into crime themselves and were eventually committed to Broadmoor Mental Health Hospital. They spent 12 years in there and were often given overly strong antipsychotic medications. The twins made a pact that the only way that one of them could start speaking to other people was if the other gave up her life. And so, one of the twins named Jennifer suddenly got very sick and died. It's a mystery how she died, but it's thought she killed herself. The other twin then started speaking to people. She once said, I'm free at last, liberated, and at last Jennifer has given up her life for me. She is still alive. Number 6. Dyatlov Pass Incident Now for more strangeness, this time in Russia. The story is about nine ski hikers that went on a trip to the Ural Mountains in February 1959 and never came back. They were all experienced outdoors people and all studied at the same university. All we know is that on one bitterly cold night, something made them rush out from their tents, not dressed for such cold temperatures. Later, Soviet authorities found them and they were all dead. One of them had a fractured skull, others had fractured ribs, and one person was missing her tongue and eyes. Wiki tells us six of the group members died of hyperthermia and three of fatal injuries. But to this day, no one knows what happened to those nine young people. Was it an attack from local indigenous people? Some people thought aliens did it as flying spheres had been seen in the sky. Was it an avalanche? Was it a secret military exercise? Or was it a Russian Jedi? The truth is out there, perhaps. Number five. Joyce Vincent. This one is just downright sad, but also strange. Joyce was a British woman who died in 2003 in her small flat in London. The sad thing is, is that she wasn't found until 2006, when all that remained of her were bones. It's said that even though her family life wasn't bad, she distanced herself from her parents. She had jobs and had a relationship, but it said her partner beat her and so she left and didn't want to be found. She died of unknown causes, but it seems no one said anything about her disappearing. As she lied on her sofa dead, the TV played and played, while half of her rent was being paid for by the Metropolitan Housing Trust. It was only when the bills stacked up that housing officials went around to see what was going on. When they arrived, they found letters sent to her from her family. The TV was still playing and the heating was turned on. They discovered her skeletal remains next to shopping bags and Christmas gifts she had wrapped that we expect she was about to send. A movie was made about her called Dreams of a Life. Number 4. Benjamin Kyle This is the tale of an American man who had a very bad case of dissociative amnesia, which is memory loss that can go back years. His name wasn't actually Benjamin, but when he was found outside a fast food restaurant in Georgia in 2004, he didn't know who he was, so that is the name he was given, as he believed that could have been his name. When authorities found him and took him to the hospital, the guy was quite surprised to learn he was 20 years older than he thought he was. He spent much of the ensuing years either homeless or working odd jobs, but in 2016, he got a break when DNA samples revealed who he was. His name was, in fact, William Burgess Powell. Number 3. Kelly Hopkinsville Encounter Do you believe in gremlins? We doubt it, but in Kentucky in 1955, a bunch of people did, or at least they believed they were attacked by little green things. This case is one of the most famous UFO alien sightings in history, only because it all sounds so real. On August 21st, 1955, five adults and seven children went to the local police station, all saying that their farmhouse had come under attack by aliens and they'd been fending them off for about four hours. It's true that many gunshots had been fired as bullet holes were found everywhere. The cops went to look for these 12 to 15 creatures, but they weren't there. The family went back to the farmhouse, but then apparently packed their bags and left when the creatures returned again in the middle of the early morning. Experts have since said that the family wasn't making it up, but they weren't shooting at gremlins, but probably great horned owls. Number 2. Euthanasia Coaster This has been called a roller coaster that sends out 24 people and they all come back dead. Hence, the Euthanasia Coaster, but it would also have worked as an execution roller coaster. The concept and scale model were created by Jula Jonas Urbonus when he was doing his PhD at the Royal College of Art in London. Urbonus, who had once worked at an amusement park, said it was a way to die with elegance and euphoria. 24 people would be taken in cars up a steep incline of 1,670 feet. When they got to the top, they had the choice of getting off. If the answer was no, they would be sent at a speed of 110 miles per hour 
hurtling down a track towards a series of clothoid inversions that would get smaller and smaller. This crazy ride would kill its passengers by way of cerebral hypoxia, or lack of oxygen getting to the brain. Going around those inversions with the g-force would eventually lead to blackout and then death. Wiki writes, subsequent inversions would serve as insurance against unintentional survival of particularly robust passengers. At the end, there is a place for the corpses to be dropped off and then it can reload for the new passengers waiting for the last ride of their lives. The ride, not surprisingly, has never been put to the test, but it's still a freaky thing in itself. And finally, number one, Michael Taylor. This story takes place in Osset, West Yorkshire, England in 1974. 30-year-old Taylor was a butcher, but it also seems he was known for his very erratic behavior. So much so, that it was decided that he might have the devil in him and he should be exorcised. That was performed by an Anglican priest and a Methodist clergyman. They believed that during the exorcism, they cast out at least 40 demons, including those of incest, bestiality, blasphemy, and lewdness. Unfortunately, the two men of the cloth were utterly exhausted at the end of it and said three demons remained in Michael. Those were the demons of insanity, murder, and violence. They still allowed the young man to go home. When he got home, he attacked his wife. Police found him in the streets covered in blood. The courts said he was insane and sent him to Broadmoor Mental Facility. He did get out, but years later committed more crimes and once again started to look dangerous. He was sent back into psychiatric care and that's where he remains today. You know what should never land on a scariest anything list? Your personal or business website. And with Wix, there's no reason for that ever to happen. Wix offers over 500 fully customizable templates that make building a site as easy as drag and drop. And their subscription services offer unlimited bandwidth and even VIP technical support. Plus, with mobile support, your site will always look amazing and load lightning fast on any device. Go to wix.com slash go slash infographics or click the link in the description and get started building your own great website today. So, have you seen anything on Wikipedia that you think deserves to be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to watch our other video called Scary Things Found on the Dark Web. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!